backwards. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna walk back and forth. I'm kind of just getting used to the leash. So he really tries to do it like that. Yeah. He really tries to like lower his body weight down and stuff. So that's just from pulling on the harness so much, probably. Yeah. So like with the, the paw collar, he's trying to make it work, but it's not really working out. Well. Yeah. So he's starting to kind of. You see how he kind of jumps over me like that? He's just being a little bit dramatic. Yeah. Good boy. But I want to teach him that every time he moves toward that leash pressure, then when I pull back and he comes towards me, that's what makes it go away, right? So if I go like that, he's going to go like that. Good boy. And I'll start using some food in there too, so he starts to get used to me doing that. He's really having a hard time coming back to me right now. Even if my no has some meaning, um, I would say like the way I look at it is like 
no for a dog really has no meaning until you condition it to have meaning. Mm -hmm. And so it needs to follow some sort of adversity, or some sort yeah. of adversity needs to follow it. So for you to say no and him to like back up and keep barking, it seems like kind of challenging a little yeah. bit because he knows whatever you're going to do isn't really going to be meaningful enough. Yeah. Um, and so a lot of dogs learn like when, when somebody says no, they either get more ramped up or they stop in that moment, but then they repeat the behavior again yeah. over and over, right? So like the reason that your no would be less effective than your dad is most likely because your dad has like a bigger presence kind of thing. Yeah. So it's just a little bit more intimidating. So that alone is aversive. Um, even the sternness of the voice can be more of a loudness of it can be more aversive the whole way. But he's really sort of so yeah. Um can be more aversive. What side do you normally walk him on? Right side. Right. right side, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Perfectly fine. Ah, no. Cool. No. And just keep moving with it. Nice and slowly around the garage, kind of figure eight a bit. It's a small space, I apologize. No. Like you said, it's like your dad will use like an actual aversive form. Yeah. He feels like quiet. And I think the issue with that though is that you don't want it to be like a threat, right? It's yeah. like if you say no and the dog does something you don't like, follow up with the aversive. So You can kind of start to feel, you've already given her a couple little corrections, um, and you can feel like he doesn't really take much of a correction yeah. to be sensitive to that. I would say though, like, you're doing a good job of correcting that for sure and stuff too. He's almost doing too well, so I want to see if he can start to pull on the machine a little bit here and see if he can work through it. He's walking beautifully last one. Nice, that's a big chunk of it, alright. Just a little pop up. 